all the scrimmages we've had um, since getting here, uh, the best back and forth on both sides of the ball. I thought the defense really came out and controlled the opening part of the scrimmage and um, you know made some stops. Uh, as we as we moved down the field, though, offensively put the ball in the red zone and really did a good job of capitalizing and punching it in some. And so uh, thought really on both sides from positives. You know, I left a couple of scrimmages in the spring and felt like the defense dominated the day. Uh, really felt like today there was some good give and take on both sides and a lot, a lot of positives and a lot, a lot to clean up. Uh, and then I thought in the kicking game, it was really, really nice to see uh, Scott Taylor Renfro and Brooks, all those guys bang it through on field goals. We did a nice job kicking the ball today. Yeah, how close is that um, right there on the field goal? How close is that for the competition? Yeah, you know, so Brooks was uh, unable to participate most of the spring with sort of a lingering hip deal that, um, that um, we didn't really know about until maybe early, like January-ish is when it kind of came into light. And so he was out all spring. Um, and Brooks is still, you know, a proven veteran player who's had a lot of success. Uh, but Scott Taylor has really, he's probably our most improved guy in the special teams room from January to right now, without question, I'd say, uh, our whole staff would tell you, specialist-wise, he's the guy that's made the biggest jump, probably. And really, in field goal, it's noticeable. I mean, kickoffs has gotten better, but field goal has improved a ton. Yeah, you know, there's there's some of it's decision-making at the line of scrimmage, some of it's post-snap um, as well. There was some good and some bad for each guy. Uh, I think that um, all are doing good things. Each, each guy in the mix has different strengths, you know, and – um, and then it's how do you how do you minimize what your weakness is? And so um, I thought all three of them had some positive moments today. Um, I think you know we'll know kind of where we're headed in about a week. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush to make a, a fast sloppy decision. We're gonna be very thorough and detailed and evaluate you know the all the way through next Saturday before we probably make a real decision there. Um, and and it really is right now like. Quaid's still a touch limited. I think next week this time he should hopefully be green lighted. But uh, it really is right now all those guys getting reps. I mean, everybody wants to talk about uh, Gunner and Peter. Uh, watch out for Tucker Kilcrease. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's times now. I don't know yet, but he's going to be a good football player, and I'm glad he's on our football team. And uh, he's got something about him too. So all those guys are still competing, and it's it's not over yet. It looks like the offensive line is coming together, especially early. They were really pushing. pushing it's night and day from the spring, uh, you know, and, and when you weren't very good in the spring, it's it's not hard to look at least better some just by slight improvements. But they're playing with uh, better consistency. Um, they're playing the game with a different attitude and mindset. They're playing the game a lot more physical. Uh, and, and, and they're just dialed in on the details of what they're doing a lot better. And, and I think we've upgraded that room by making some personnel changes, quite honestly. I mean, I think we've added, uh, you know, three guys in that room from the transfer market that, that may play this year. And uh, one, I mean, Tyler went with the ones today at right guard most of the time, and he's been doing that a lot this spring and he, or this, this fall, and he's, uh, he's looked really good. And, and then the other transfer guys are making an impact. So that room is definitely much improved. It has not arrived. Still, still a, a long way from where we want to be, but uh, I feel confident we're heading the right direction there. Take some guys down to the, to the ground now, so you know it's fun being out there with these guys. What's the big thing that you think you guys defensively have to kind of clean up right now? You know, basically everybody running to the ball. You know, we had you know a few busts every now and then. You know, in the run game, but we know uh, we'll get those cleared up. You know, going into the season. Someone else talked about the offense is kind of nine day from the spring. What are your thoughts on how the offense has improved? Oh yeah, definitely. They took a, a huge leap for you know throughout this uh, entire fall camp. You know, it's been a little more competitive. You know, those guys bringing the energy every day. You know, you know we know Gunner's going to step up and be that leader that we need him to be. So you know, we're excited. Another guy, Jay McDonald, missed the last you know 25 percent of the season last year with an injury. How important is it for him to be healthy and back to that linebacker room? Uh, well, me and KJ talk about it all the time. You know, Jay McDonald, he has you know. Probably one of the highest upsides on this team. You know, he we're gonna really need him during the season, and you know he's an amazing player. You know, it's a, he can only go up. You know, up from here. I got in first scrimmage. Just uh, guys found the end zone and you know, got some points on some good field goals. Just overall thoughts on the offense. 
Uh, yeah, I thought we started off a little slow, but um, we got back up and uh, I think it was around the third drive. We had a really good drive. O-line blocked really well and we had a guy just walk in for a touchdown, so I thought it was really good. And on the kicking side, I thought Scott hit a bunch of field goals. He had some long ones, some short ones. He had everything today. And then Brooks looked good too, so it's a good day. Coach mentioned the progression of the O-line has been almost night and day since the spring. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, ain't no doubt. And uh, Coach Pop was just saying we're not allowed to do some stuff in the scrimmage that we would probably do in a game, but I mean, we looked very good today. How do you feel like the communication was today? Uh, so we just put in a few new things, different things. So, I mean, it was a little slow today, but uh, we're working on it. We started on that about three or four days ago, so we're working on it, and it'll be better by next Saturday for sure. What's the main thing you think you guys need to clean up as an offense? Uh, I think just, uh, like he said, just uh, playing a little faster, getting getting the playoff, and um, not waiting until there's five, four seconds left on the on the clock to snap the ball. It like you were determined, especially early, to run the ball a lot and just yeah. establish that. that yep. the yeah, that's what Coach Craddock and Coach Popper are big on. They want to establish that run, and uh, if we can do that, then, you know, it opens the pass game up. So I think, I think we're going to try to do that early and uh, just kind of hit a team in the mouth. So.